as well as Mainly Center, Juvenile Detention Centers, and Female Prison Centers, we have our work cut out for us. No, I don't believe that any longer we can sit back and wait until a crisis happens. I don't think that the general community knows what the impact of the closure of TAMS would have. TAMS is our only super maximum security facility in the state. That is where our convicted murderers who are sentenced to life in prison without parole, that's where they are. If the governor closes TAMS, there are very few maximum security facilities that would be able to house those particular people. One of them is the Dixon Correctional Center because we have guest house and it is a maximum security facility. Um, I don't want those kind of people around here and I'm sure that none of you do either. So rather than find ourselves in a position where we're having a back panel and try to figure out what we're going to do, I think we need to come together as a community and be proactive and think of solutions to the problem. Our prisons are now overcrowded. At this point, I believe they're at 150% of their capacity. Um, our prison guards are overworked and understaffed. Clearly, what we've been doing is not working. 